That's a lichen. These yeah. things are called lichens. Oh yeah. Okay. There you go. Oh, is, oh yeah. Is that yeah. one, right? Yep, yeah, right there. Oh. That's one right there. Yeah, you can see And then that. all on that branch right there. Oh yeah, I see. See them? Wow. That whole branch is just covered with them. So we actually need to come out here with a ladder. Yeah. And then Holly, so, how about over here? Is, are, yep. are those? Yep. yep, that whole over here. Yeah. And then over there too. Yep. The look at look at how they they oh are. Oh, they gosh. know to try to disguise them by putting them on in knots. Yeah. They will lay their eggs on anything, any smooth surface. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> trees that, that have very smooth bark. Oh. Okay, got it. How about tulip trees? Do you think that they? Oh, they love tulip poplars. Oh God, we have one. Yeah. Oh. Um, that's yeah, terrible. our shade tree commission had said that uh, they only look at the host trees, the ailanthus, but in fact, they oh, they'll lay their eggs on anything. On anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you if you go to the Penn State website, mm -hmm. um, there. you will see that they they lay their eggs on like that's why I was looking at the park benches. Uh -huh. Ah, park benches. Uh -huh. And well, that's what we had originally been told that the eggs are everywhere. You know, on. On here, they're, I don't see any up here, but they could lay their eggs on, on any um, patio furniture. Mm -hmm. um, if you have a wood pile, look in your wood pile. Mm -hmm. um, they will lay their eggs on, on anything. So, there's some more old ones. Those, those might be two seasons. There. There's an... Is that a new one? I think that's a new one. Okay. Yeah. How do you know that that's a new one? See that? See how it's wet? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, it looks as if as they get older, or maybe when the nymphs emerge, you can see lines in it. Those are the no. That no. That's that's the um. They just didn't complete the covering. Oh, that just means that they didn't get the cover. Okay, so is this one right here old or new? So that's an older one, right? Is that new? I, I don't know. If, it comes, if it's gooey, it's new. Mm -hmm. It's gooey. Oh my gosh. L oh, Lord. Wow. My gosh. See, that's all you have to do, just pick yeah. up a stick. This is really instructive. I mean, the demonstration, you know, makes mm -hmm. it very clear how to do it. Yeah, you just, especially all the squishing. <laughs> you just, I wouldn't even scrape. I would just mm. smash. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes. I, I mean, I don't think that people should be obsessed with them. They're here to stay. They're, they're here to stay. We're, we're not ever going to be able to eradicate them all. Uh -huh. And they're spreading. Um, but... I think what you can do is you can control what you can control, and that's in your own yard. You can look for them. You can kill the ones you see. If you have a favorite tree, you can treat the tree. It's all balancing. If, it's, if you know you have a maple or you have a tree of heaven, I would remove the tree of heaven. Yeah. Um, um, maples, you love, you know, big old maples. People love their big old maples. Yeah. Like maybe I would treat that. Wait until after it's done flowering, mm -hmm. so that there's no bees pollinating the flowers. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then, and then treat it. Um, and the, the more we can do to encourage pollinators to feed on them. Um, so praying mantis, there are some wasps that mm. feed on them. Mm. Um, I, I know there's spiders. Yeah, um, I've seen yeah. make I've, our spiders have been tasting. Don't, like, don't clean up your garden this time yeah. of year. Wait until spring to clean up your garden. Because all of those pollinators, they hide in, in the stems, they, in, the, in the mulch, in the leaf piles. Mm -hmm. What do you think about putting strips around the trees? Um, I do think that that can be effective for the, um, the nymphs and the adults absolutely must cover it with wire yeah. with chicken wire or screen because
because they're just there's just too much bycatch. That's they're right. catching birds, they're catching wildlife, owl, you know, owl, squirrels. Um, you just you have to have to make sure yeah. that you cover it. Um, and then the the circle traps. The circle traps have been effective. Um, <laughs> And there's instructions on how to build one. And or if you're not a building person, you can go to uh, Great Lakes IPM, and they they actually make they have circle traps that you can buy. And it's but th there's a lot of misinformation around, so it's good to check. Yeah, we'll see about it. Dawn dish soap, and you will see that all over the internet. Dawn dish soap is not meant to be washed into our sewers. There is no water treatment that will take those detergents out of that water. Dawn dish detergent is meant to go down our sinks huh. where the water treatment plant will take care of those detergents. Right. Um, you know, I would stick with insecticidal soaps. Um, those are meant, they've been tested, they're meant to be used in the environment. Bye -bye. Penn State, refer people to the Penn State website. Mm -hmm. Please. Um, it's, you know, it, it, it's a, you'll find out what works, what doesn't work, what's safe to use for the environment, what's not safe to use for the environment. Um, you have to stick with research-based information. Yeah, sounds good. Well, Holly, thank you so much. You are much. very welcome. Thank you. And really, for really taking this time. Sure. We no really problem. learned a lot. Good. I'm glad. Yeah, feel free to, uh, um, we can come out. We're doing virtual talks. So if you've got a garden club, if you've got, um, you know, if you've got an organization, we can have somebody do a virtual talk to your organization. Perfect. Okay. Thank All right. you. All right.